class. Um, there'll be an option obviously at the end if you want to stay longer for Shavasana and really take some time to just be. That will be available to you at the end of class. Just because the time's a little shorter doesn't mean that the work out and the work in will still get done. So landing in the space with some deep breaths is where you want to be right now. hard stuff if we take good care of ourselves. So thanks for coming. Thanks for being here on your mat. Please take breaks when you need to. If you lose your breath at any time, just come down for a moment. You can take child's pose, hero's pose. Maybe you lie down for a little bit and join us when you're ready. So on your next inhale, ever so gently, just press up to a tabletop position. And make sure that you've got yourself in good alignment here. So knees are right underneath your hips. And then your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders are stacked. Maybe set your gaze right between your thumbs so that your neck is long as well. And then we'll start with a little spinal mobility by working through cow and cat. So on your inhale, you're going to start to lift your tailbone, let your belly drop, gaze goes up. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to lift your back body up towards the sky, scoop your belly in and round into your cat. And then go ahead and just flow that on your own breath pace. Your breath is your anchor, your breath is your beat, your cadence, it's your tether to keep you on your mat and in your space. So if ever you find your mind going somewhere else, just come back to your breath and that will guide, that will lead you home. Add in any extra movements, yeah, shifts, shimmies, if there's a little sticky spot, maybe spend a little time breathing to that to see if it'll loosen up. Nice. Go ahead and finish your cycle. So your one last cow, one last cat, or however you're counting and then come back to neutral and we'll do a little thoracic spine mobility and then shoulder opening at the end. So as you inhale, reach your right arm towards the sky. As you exhale, shoot it through between your left wrist, left knee. Do that again. Reach up, right arm, hand reaches. Exhale, shoot it through. And then one last time, right arm reaches and now you're going to thread the needle. Let your right cheek turn, right shoulder rest. Left palm can be on the mat. You can extend it forward towards the front edge. You can corkscrew your left hand behind your back. You can also bring left palm to right palm. Little connection there. Yeah, and notice how your body feels right now. Is there some place that you could soften a little bit more? Press up to a tall left arm, so big reach with your right arm. Open up a little bit, and then as you exhale, you're gonna come back to tabletop. Let's go right into the next side. So left arm extends out or up, big breath in. As you exhale, shoot it through. Do that again, rotate open, bring it on through, and then one last time, reach up. And as you exhale, here's where you thread the needle. Let your left shoulder melt into the mat. Decide what you want to do with your right hand. You're never stuck. You can always change. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Breathe and soften. And then go ahead, press up to a tall right arm. Left arm reaches, inhale. And then as you exhale, release back to the tabletop. So from here, take a cow pose, inhale. Exhale, round into cat. Inhale, come back to your neutral place. And then as you exhale, hips high, head low to downward facing dog. There it is. Beautiful. 
So lots of length from your hips to your heels. Lots of length, fingertips to armpits to hips. Set your drishti, your gaze to the back edge of your mat, maybe even to your navel, to your belly button. That helps to release the back of your neck a little bit more. And then give your heads a little bit of a shake or a nod just to loosen up. Yeah. Big deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, look towards your thumbs, and walk your feet forward between your hands for ragdoll at the top edge of your mat. So feet split about hip width distance apart, even a little wider is nice. Little squeeze to the fronts of the legs maybe helps release the back. You wanna feel as if your low back is opening up here, right? No stress to the low back at all. Yeah, I love the little sway side to side. Go ahead, drop your fingertips to the mat. You're gonna bring your big toe knuckles to touch here. Inhale's your halfway lift. Exhale, nice deep bow. Do that again, inhale halfway. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale halfway. Exhale, bow down. And on this front then, take your time rising all the way up, out in pose, reaching your arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, gently guide your hands to your heart. Standing in Samastitihi, gaze either off your fingertips or maybe close your eyes. Let's breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale it out. Look up, reach up, mountain pose. Let's blow some sun A's. Exhale, bow forward. Fingertips back down to the earth, maybe resting on calves. Inhales, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms and step back from plank. So holding the top of your push-up, take a breath in. And then on this exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your bellies. Knees can touch down first. Palms under your shoulders or even a little bit back towards your waistline here. Next breath in, press the mat away, lift your chin and chest, baby cobra. Exhale, lower your chin back down. Do that again, inhale, press down to lift. Exhale, lower. And then on this third time, press down to lift, hold here, and then float your palms off the mat. Yeah, it's just about two, three inches, beautiful. Wrap your elbows in towards your midline, good. Inhale. As you exhale, palms to the earth, lower your chin back down. Take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, hips high, head low, downward facing dog. Back you go. Nice. Beautiful. Breathing in. Empty it out. Look towards your thumbs. Walk or maybe give it a hop forward. Halfway lift. Bow your deep breath. Rising all the way up, mountain pose, reaching to the top. And then exhale, fold forward, fingertips back down to the earth. Beautiful. Halfway lift. As you exhale, step back for plank. So you can do what we just did on the last series and lower to your belly, or breath in. As you exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Breathe in, upward facing dog or cobra. And then breathe out, downward facing dog. So knowing that I'm suggesting poses and you're going to decide whether or not that works for your body this day. I almost said this morning, but it could be afternoon when you're taking the class. I don't know. Breath in. Empty out. Look towards your thumbs. Come forward. Walk your hop. Yes. Halfway lift. Bow deeply. Mountain pose as you inhale. And then bow forward as you exhale. Come to your halfway lift, spine gets longer. And then as you exhale, plant your palms, step it back, flow through, high to low push up, high push up to belly. Breathe in for your back bend. Breathe out, downward facing dog. And maybe you skip all that stuff in the middle. Breath in, breath out. Look to thumbs, walk or float to the top. Halfway, bowing down, rising to mountain pose. And then folding forward as you release the breath. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, elbows hug in towards your ribs here. Elbows will straighten, heart lifts for upward facing dog. 
and then you send your hips high, head low, down dog. Just one breath in, empty out, and then look towards your thumbs. Come to the top of the mats. Halfway, bowing forward, rising mountain pose. Bow forward as you release the breath. Halfway lift. And then plant your palms. Finish your vinyasa flow, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. And knowing at any time, again, you can keep child's pose if you need to grab a drink, maybe dab off the sweat beads. Always fine. Back to your breath. Breathing in. Empty out. And then look towards your thumbs. Come to the top of the hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold on your exhale. Chair pose as you breathe in. So rise up. Bend your knees, take a seat into chair pose. It's just like it sounds. Feet together or hip width distance apart. Yes, block between thighs, awesome. Nice, now from here, take your hands behind you. Clasp your hands behind your back. Use a strap or towel here if your shoulders are a little tight or grab opposite elbows. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, bow forward. Drop your forehead towards knees or shins and then you're in charge of that little rinse out factor of the shoulders. Yeah, you can keep your hands connected to your back body or maybe they start to float up towards the sky, beautiful. No jamming, no forcing, just breathing. Release your fingertips to the mat. Inhales, halfway lift as you exhale. Step or float back for chaturanga, push up. Breathe in, upward facing dog cobra, knowing you can skip this. And then exhale, we all meet downward facing dog. Right leg, let's lift it hip height. And then as you exhale, bring your right foot forward, set it down, spin your back heel to the mat, warrior one will be next. Yeah. So you got a nice bend in your front knee, right? Maybe pull your right shoulder back just a little bit, beautiful. Breathe, fill the pose up with breath. And then on every exhale, you empty it out. So every breath is new, right? Inhale. And then as you exhale, open up warrior two. You have the option of warrior two to create a little more space between your feet. Where is your gaze? Where are you looking? Set your drishti right off your middle fingernail of your right hand. Yeah. If your eyes are all over the place, your brain is gonna be all over the place your front palm up and then on breath in let's tip it back the reverse more make sure your neck feels comfortable so you can set your drishti to the ceiling to the side to the back ankle all good let your right ribs open up a little bit one more inhale and then let this exhale carry you down hands to the earth right leg shoots back feel free to keep it lifted as you go through high to low push-up that's going to amp it up a little bit both toes flat and up dog, and then you're back to downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it forward, set it down. Warrior one left side. No need to overcomplicate these poses or to overthink them or to over critique or to do a lot of fine tuning. Your body knows where to go. Nice. Breathing in. And then as you exhale, transition to your warrior two, reaching front windows to back wall, front edge to back edge. Imagine your palms are pressing against an imaginary bookcase. All right, yeah. Flip your front palm up, take a breath in, and then tip it back, reverse your warrior. There it is. Back hand can rest along your back leg. You can corkscrew it behind your back. You can even let it dangle behind your right leg. That's fine. One more inhale, and then let this exhale carry you down. And then you choose your path back to home base, downward facing dog. Yeah, that's where we gather. Whether you go there and skip a bunch, or whether you do it all and land here, that's where we gather, and then that breath unites us. Non-negotiable deep breaths. We'll flow the sun bees couple times 
and just step out of your own way. Let this be your chance to experience some meditation through motion. Breathing in, empty out, look to thumbs, walk or hop to the top, halfway lift, fold down, right into chair pose, breathing in, and then bow forward as you release the breath. Halfway lift, and then you're off your chaturanga if that's how you choose to flow. Breathe in, back bend or not. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Right leg floats, breathing in. Exhale, step forward. Rising warrior one. Opening up warrior two. Reverse it on the inhale and release it on the exhale. Then you choose your path, breathing in, breathing out. We've all landed in down dog. Left leg floats, inhale. Exhale, step up. Come on up, warrior one. Open up big, warrior two. Deep inhale, reverse it. Full exhale, release it. Breathing in. Breathing out, down dog, yes. How's your jaw? How's your forehead? How's your belly? Engage, but not you know, so tight that you can't breathe. Inhale. Empty it all out. Gaze towards your thumbs. Come to the top of the mats. Halfway lift. Bow deeply. Chair pose. Rise up. Fold forward on your exhale. Come to your halfway lift. And then plant your palms for chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Right leg. Step forward on the exhale. Rising warrior one. Opening up warrior two. Reverse it, breathe in. And then release it, breathe out, and this. Flow through, big breath in for your back bend. Maybe you're holding plank here. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Left leg floats. Bring it forward on the exhale. Breathing in as you rise. Breathing out as you open. Reversing and releasing. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Nice work, you guys. Great breathing. <sighs> open mouth exhales always available if you feel a little tension coming into your jaw. Always good to do that. Flubber your lips out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> little puffers. That's good. Nice. Right leg. Let's lift it to hip height. Inhale here. And then let this exhale bring your right foot forward. We're going to set up a low lunge here. Yeah. So think length through your whole back body, the posterior chain, so to speak, from crown of your head through your back body all the way to your back heel. Back knee can come down at any time. Left hand's going to root down onto the mat, and then your right arm's going to reach to the sky for a little lunge twist. All right, twist so healthy for bringing out the, the body, both physically and emotionally, spiritually. So let her go. Let yourself unwind a little bit. Nice. Release your right fingertips back down to the mat. All right. Find your core. So a little Uddiyana Banda attention for a moment. Navel to spine. And then when you're ready, on an inhale, rise to a tall spine for crescent lunge. Back knee can stay down. Back knee can come down. Feet hip width distance apart. Hands to your heart space. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, let's take an open twist. All right, left fingertips reach forward, right fingertips back. So you're twisting to the right side. Nice. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, right fingertips are going to reach for the back of your left leg as your left fingertips reach to the sky. Yeah. So think Lady Liberty's torch up here with the um, top fingertips. All right. Nice. And then open back up to your open twist. Big breath in, full breath out, and then inhale, face forward. As you exhale, hands down, three-legged dog. Can you pull your right leg up to the sky? There it is. Just lengthen it up here. Inhale here, 
As you exhale, step your right foot forward. We're gonna come into warrior two on an inhale. Yeah, I know that's really not like little Lady Liberty, but I'm gonna stick with it. I like it. it. I like it. Yeah. I'm right, just tired and slap because we this is take two. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, we're going to straighten the right knee. Trikonasana, guys. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, let your left hip cock back a little bit. Right ribs lengthen. Beautiful triangle pose. Maybe power triangle if you want to try that right now. Right arm floats off of whatever it's holding. Palm is up. Left arm can extend overhead like you're holding a gigantic beach ball. But again, this is all options. These are all just layers of the pose that you can play with. Right hand come back, comes back down, left arm up. And then you're gonna rise to a tall spine. Find your way back to warrior two. So right knee's gonna bend again, beautiful. Flip your right palm up to the sky, big breath in, load here. And then on your exhale, you're gonna float into half moon pose. So right fingertips come down right off the right front corner of your mat. Left fingertips to the sky. Left leg is floating. Imagine your left leg is as light as a feather. It's not like you're heave hoeing cement block up there. It's as light as a feather. Left toes maybe start to turn up towards the sky. Breath in. And then as you exhale, releasing into a standing split. Left fingertips down for support. Maybe you tuck your left knee in behind your right and then shoot it back up. Let's breathe. Get your hips above your head. Don't worry about how high your back leg is lifting. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, left foot meets the right foot. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Come on up, mountain pose. Reach to the top here. Exhale, bow forward. Inhales, halfway. And then exhale, plant your palms and make your way back to downward facing dog. Just choose the path that's right for you at this moment, right? And we all gather back to downward facing dog. Good place to start. Left leg floats, inhale. Exhale, step forward, setting up your low lunge position, all right? Maybe on this side you wanna drop your back knee down or maybe this side your back knee's lifted, maybe it's the same, doesn't matter. We're gonna to start to twist. So on this side, right hand stays rooted down and the left arm starts to reach towards the ceiling. Feel free to use a block under your bottom hand. You can also tent your fingers or make a fist if that feels best. You do know your body best. So we as instructors are just here to guide you. Beautiful, left fingertips back down to the earth, right? Find your center, Udiyana Banda. On an inhale, rise up to a tall spine and you'll find yourself in a tall lunge, crescent lunge here. Nice, back knee can come down at any time, hands at your heart. Nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're gonna twist left. So right fingertips are gonna reach front, left fingertips are gonna reach back. Hips stay pretty square when we're rotating in crescent lunge. So no need to overdo it. And then if you want to try that little Lady Liberty-esque thing that I like to do, yeah, you reach your left hand in the back of your right leg, right fingertips to the sky. How's your breathing? Breath above the pose, always. Inhale, open up, twist. Here, stay here for the exhale. And then inhale, face forward. As you exhale, hands down, three-legged dog. So just let your left leg extend up towards the sky a little bit. Lengthen out through the front side of your hips. Breath in. As you exhale, step forward, warrior two. Nice. So preparing for that moment in triangle pose from here. So left knee's gonna straighten. And then as you inhale, reach. As you exhale, two. Yeah. Visual, you're pressed between two pages of a book, two panes of glass. You're doing this in the aisle of a really small jet, all right? Power triangles available to you if you want to try it on the side. Left hand floats. Right arm has the option to come overhead. Yes, bottom hand, if you've opened up, let your bottom hand land back in triangle. Right arm to the sky. On an inhale, rise up. 
find your way to warrior two. There it is. Inhale, flip your front palm up, reverse your warrior, and then as you exhale, just float to half moon pose here. So now left hand's re reaching to the left top corner of your mat, right fingertips reach to the sky. Drishti in half moon, if your balance is a little sketchy, look down, all right? You can also take your gaze to the side or up to your top thumb. Right toes start to turn up towards the ceiling a bit. Beautiful, inhale. And then as you exhale, ever so gently release to your standing split. There's no rush. Maybe you bend your left knee, tuck your right knee in behind, and then drop your head. Breathe. Nice. One more inhale. As you exhale, right foot meets the left. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up mountain pose. And then as you exhale, hands to your heart, take a seat into chair pose, all right? So we'll get ready to do a little twist from chair from this position, open twist, just like we did in crescent. As you inhale, lengthen, and then as you exhale, let's twist right. Left fingertips reach to the front of your mat, right fingertips reach to the back of your mat. Yeah, these look good, you guys. Stay, breathe, feel. Lean into the sensations that you're feeling. Don't back away, just walk right into that. As long as you're not feeling sharp pain, you are good. Breath is deep, one more inhale. And then as we exhale, bow. Fingertips back down to the earth. Put your feet up about hip width distance apart. Yeah, hang out here. Any forward fold, right down position or yogi squat works right now. Take a toe hold, gorilla, grabbing opposite elbows in front of or behind. That works. Beautiful. Go ahead, release out of your um, forward fold, fingertips to the mat, feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, deep bow. And then on this breath in, find your way back into chair pose so we can twist left, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. Hands at your heart. Yeah, let's not do the right side again. So breathe in. And then as you exhale, go ahead and start to twist left. So on this side, you want to pull your right knee back up just a little bit. There it is. Nice. And then you breathe. Mm, very nice. How about one more breath in? And then as you exhale, let's bow forward. So take another ragdoll, maybe a yogi squat again. Yeah, just something here to sort of seal the chair twist series in. How's your breath? Is there something you could be doing to bring in some ease? Whether that's a break or a sip of water. Yeah, nice. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, go ahead, come on out of your ragdoll feet together. Take your time here, rising all the way up mountain pose. Big reach to the top. And then as you exhale, we'll get ready to work into a little bit of balance. So we're going to start with one-legged mountain. Left foot roots down, and then bring your right knee up parallel to the outside edge of your mat. So your right thigh is running pretty parallel to the outside. Flex your right foot. Arms are going to open up to a T. Palms are facing forward. We're going to do a little balance, proprioceptor work here. Inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your palms together out front. Yes. Inhale, open up to a T. Exhale, palms together overhead. Inhale, open up to a T. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, open up. Now reach overhead on, on your exhale. And then open up to a T, big breath in as you exhale, right foot next to the left. Nice. And then let's switch sides. Yeah, right foot grounds in. Yeah, so standing and balancing on one foot, really functional fitness. You need to be able to do this. Good practice. Arms out to a T, breath in. As you exhale, draw your palms together out front. Inhale, you open up. Exhale, how about palms together overhead? Inhale, T. Exhale, draw them together. Inhale, back open. Exhale, up and over top. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, release back down, foot to the floor. Nice work, you guys. And then we'll finish the balance series with a tree. 
beautiful. Left foot roots in, right foot up along the inside of your left leg. And then any arm position, you can keep your hands at your heart space. You can reach your arms overhead. Maybe you interlace your palms. Maybe you goal post your arms. Clasp your hands behind your back. Make something up. Yeah, it's all good. Again, as long as you're breathing deep and full, you're right where you need to be. And if you fall out, you come back in. Even if it's five, six, ten times. Yes. One more inhale. And then exhale, go ahead, release. Right foot next to the left, switch sides. So right foot grounds in, your left foot comes up along the inside somewhere, maybe toes on the mat on this side, and let the sole of your foot rest against your right ankle, right? Same arm position or switch it up. And then you just breathe. You're here, you've arrived. Now fill the pose up with breath. Top of the mats, if you're not there, inhale, reach up, mountain pose. As you exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Inhale to your halfway lift. And then as you exhale, step back for your plank position. All right, and you're gonna hold this, but not your breath, right? So take your drishti right between your thumbs. Look straight there. Shoulders, hips, heels, all in a line. These are awesome. Pressing through your feet, lifting through the backs of your thighs. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, control your lower. So knees can touch down first. Elbows bend towards the back edge of your mat. Come down slowly. Once you get down there, turn a cheek. Let your arms just rest at your sides. We're in a new place now. Yeah, new territory. Yeah, you can always bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet from side to side. If you feel like your low back's a little sticky. Head to the other side if that's okay on your neck, but only if it's okay, you can always just stay with your chin or forehead in a nice neutral place, right? So focus on the back and front body here while you're on your belly. Bring your chin or your forehead to a neutral place. Palms at your sides, but flip your palms to the earth and let your pinkies point in towards your body and your thumbs point, in towards, point out towards the outer edges of your mat. Curl your toes under, give your thighs a little squeeze so your kneecaps will float. And then on an inhale, go ahead and start to lift your chin, your chest. Arms, maybe feet float off the mat. Think length as you lift. All right, nice. One more breath in, no jamming, no forcing. And then as you exhale, slowly release. Beautiful. Bend both knees. We're gonna make our way to bow pose next. So you're gonna reach back with long arms. See if you can capture your feet, your ankles, your calves. If not, you can reach for one foot. If not, you can just reach for no feet, all right? And just do this with long arms extended behind you. On a breath in. Exhale here, sorry. Inhale, float up. Yeah, bow pose, there you go. Breathing, breathe to your front body. Breathe to the base of your lungs. Breathe to your pinky toes. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly lower. Nice work, you guys. So very slowly, you're gonna place your palms under your shoulders and ease yourselves back to downward facing dog. All right, no throwing your bodies around like crazy. Yeah, you wanna go slow here so that the length of the space that you've created thus far stays. You don't shock it out, right? Breath in. And then as you exhale, look towards your thumbs. Just walk or float your feet to and through. Find your way to your back. We'll do a couple more back bends here on this plane, all right? So bridges, wheels, supported bridge, a combination thereof is all going to work. Bend your knees, walk your heels in close to your seat, and you want your feet to be like the number 11 here. So you're not gonna rotate on your heels and point your toes side to side, right? Feet like 11s, 
And then when you're ready, on a breath in, press the mat away with your feet, you're down with your feet, and start to lift your thighs, your hips, your belly. So bridge pose, you stay right here, maybe clasp your fingertips underneath you to get your shoulders for underneath for a little support. If you're doing wheel, palms go up by your shoulders. It's a little kid back then like you did in the, you know, second grade. Press up to a full back bend. Back bends, like all yoga poses, have no hierarchy. So your spine's gonna love you either way. Take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, as slow as you can, come down. Think about laying down your vertebrae, like one at a time, or two at a time, right? Once your pelvis hits the mat, take a breath in, and a breath out. And then inhale, back up for another bridge pose, or maybe if you're ready for wheel, go there. Do the work on an inhale, and then stay and breathe, deep and full. Be all in, right here, right now. Nice, one more inhale. If you're doing wheel, you wanna bring your chin to your chest before you lower. Come down super slow, nice and easy. And we will meet in Sukta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet are gonna to touch. Let your knees butterfly open. Eyes can close. Arm position in Sukta Baddha Konasana, you have several variations that you can choose. One hand on heart, one hand on your belly, doesn't matter which. You can rest your hands at your sides. You can place your arms overhead. Hands in prayer position, rest your thumbs to your third eye center. Yeah, all good. Keeping in mind as you begin to practice, to realize that there really isn't a right way or a wrong way, it's just your way, right? And owning that every time you roll out the mat and you commit to doing your practice, however that looks, is your yoga today. Mm -hmm. Whether it's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, an hour and a half, it's right. Start to blink your eyes open, guys. Yeah, sorry, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> and then these are gonna come together yeah, and from this place, just gently, you're gonna take your hands and place them underneath your sacrum, maybe forefinger and thumb connect underneath for a little diamond shape, little donut for your sacrum to sit in, and then draw your knees to your chest and legs up to the sky. And just a little core work here. Feet together, all right? So think of you're gonna take your two legs and make them into one leg. As you inhale, drop your heels down towards the earth. They don't have to touch the floor. As you exhale, you're gonna lift them back up to the top. And then we're gonna do 10 of those. So that was one, now two, lower and lift. Three, lower and lift. Yes, lower and lift. Number five, down and up, good. Six, down and up, down and up, seven. Eight, down and up. Eight. And after 10, just pause there with your legs up for a moment. Yeah. And take a breath in. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, place your foot, feet on the floor, and release your hands. So we work the front of the core, right, right there. Now we're just going to hit the obliques. We're going to do what's called the penguin. So you're gonna bend your knees and place your feet fat, flat on the mat, right? Walk your heels in a little close, almost like a bridge prep. Palms are face down, arms are long. Bring your chin to your chest, float your shoulders off the mat. And now you're gonna reach right fingertips towards your right pinky toe, left fingertips towards your left pinky toe, like you're a waddling little penguin. <laughs> Like, yeah, the penguin that was going through the Chicago Aquarium yesterday, so cute. Look it up on Twitter, it's adorable. His, his adult, or human friends let him take a little explore. Yeah, and they're waddling through the aquarium looking at the fish, it's so cute. All right, a couple more. Nice work, you guys, and then relax, good job. The penguin from the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Loves penguinos. <laughs> yeah, good work, you guys. All right, so we're going to work into a little hip opening from this place, all right? So supine, half pigeon. 
All right, yes, right ankle's gonna cross above your left knee. Feel free to keep your left foot on the earth. You can float your left foot if you want to. And then you draw your hands through that little hole and grab the back of your left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed. Keep your left foot flexed. And think about pressing your right knee forward towards that top right corner of your mat a little bit. And maybe your left knee pulls back a little bit towards your left shoulder. So finding that nice balance of sensation. All right. Nice. You're in charge. I always um, like to think of the analogy of like walking into the ocean. You're going to dip, tiptoe into the sensation ocean, right? And the sensation pool and decide how deep you want to go. You don't have to jump into the deep end, right? As long as you're breathing, but you can feel a little energy shifting, you're doing it enough. You don't need to go any deeper. But as you stay and breathe, if things start to open up a little bit, run with that. off your mat when we're holding poses. So just gently guide yourself back. Use that tether of breath, that anchor. Come back to the side with your breath in and you'll be right where you need to be. Another couple breaths on this side. Good. Then go ahead and release. We're just gonna, you know, you can shake it out. Shake your legs, do a few windshield wipers, whatever feels good, and then we'll set the supine half pigeon up on the other side. So right foot down, let your left ankle cross above your right knee. Little figure four action, and then you decide, should my foot stay on the mat? Should I float my foot? I can, you can straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling. For some people that opens up the sciatic nerve pathway you can try playing with any of that. Maybe you reach up and grab on top of your right knee for a little deeper sensation. Again, you're in charge of this experience. I'm just suggest giving you some suggestions. And you're never stuck. There's always some place else to go if you need to. On this side, left knee maybe presses a little bit further towards the top left corner of your mat. Right knee pulls back just a little bit. There's a little game of tension going on between sides here. How about one more breath in? And then as you exhale, go ahead and release a little shake, 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 yeah. And then how about a happy baby here? So to find happy baby, knees are gonna bend. You're gonna draw your thighs to the outside of your torso. Feet flex, reach up. You can grab behind your thighs, your calves, ankles, or feet, maybe big toes. And then stay still. If you need a little massage, maybe rock and roll a little side to side. Good. Releasing out of your happy baby from this place. Knees draw in towards your center. Arms are going to open up to a T. Feel free to goal post your arms here. Taking a supine twist of your choice to the right. So knees are going to pile up to the right side of your mat. Feel free to take a twisted root. Left knee crosses a little right. And stick a block between your thighs. Left shoulder stays pretty connected to your mat. If it pops up a little bit, that's totally okay. Nice. And then coming back to center. Just gonna drop your knees to the left. Picking the supine twist of your choice here. Yes, you can roll to your left side, and then you bring your right arm up and over like Peter's doing here. It's a nice way to enter in your supine twist. 
Coming back to center. Yeah, draw your knees in towards your nose. Maybe lift the back of your head up, curl up into a little ball. Take a big breath in here, nice little squeeze. And then as you exhale, you staying right into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Yeah. And you guys know Shavasana might be on your back today, but maybe you feel more comfortable lying on your side. You can always take legs up the wall for a lovely Shavasana experience. You're going to start to let go of the ujjayi breath and let your body return to a nice breath of ease, easy, natural breath. Let your body sink into the mat and let your heart float light. So if you're at home practicing and you'd like to stay as long as you'd like to in Shavasana, please do. But here in the studio, start to deepen up your breath a little bit. Bringing in a little movement here and there, fingers, toes. And then taking your time, just rolling onto your right side. And we'll pause there. place with your eyes still closed. Press up, join me in a comfortable seat. Eyes closed, spines nice and tall. Bring your hands together at your heart space and we'll seal the practice together. Inhale, exhale, breath in, breath out. And then one final deep inhale as you draw your thumb knuckles to your third eye, bowing forward as you exhale. Namaste. Thanks, guys.